One of the most recently accepted breeds in the American Rabbit Breeders Association or ARBA is the Dwarf Hottet. It is an unusual looking rabbit with looks worthy of the show. It is small, compact, with lovely dense fur and with prominent dark eyes. The Dwarf Hottet is a small breed of rabbits that weigh just between 2.5 to 3.5 pounds as an adult. These rabbits have white coats, small cute ears, and impressive eyes with dark markings. This rabbit has a compact body size, with a round and well-filled head and a very short neck. According to breed statistics, the Dwarf Hottet must have rounded hindquarters, which must be in line with their wide shoulders. The ears are thick and short. And this rabbit is not just about looks. It also has a warm and friendly personality and is definitely good as a first-time pet. History of the breed The Dwarf Hottet was accepted by Arba in 1983 and now, it has a very strong following. But contrary to speculations that it was from the breed of larger Hottets, this dwarf rabbit, was actually developed from a normal-sized Hottet. The original breed of Hottet was created in France at the start of the 20th century by Baroness Bernard. The dwarf was from combining the genes of the East and West Germany breeds in the 1970s. Two breeders bred the same rabbit independently and crossed the two specimens. The two breeders used the white Hottet in a Netherland dwarf to develop the dwarf Hottet. It was only in 1970 when Elizabeth Furstinger from California brought seven dwarf Hottets from West Germany to the US. She began showing the cute rabbits in 1980. After two years of admiration, the American Dwarf Hottet Rabbit Club was launched. The Dwarf Hottet was recognized by the ARBA in 1983 and still remains as one of the oddest but cutest rabbit breeds. Many years have passed since it was recognized by the ARBA, the only accepted Dwarf Hottet varieties are the ones with black eye bands. In 2006, the Chocolate Banded Dwarf Hottet was accepted by the ARBA. In shows, the black and the chocolate banded dwarf hottets are presented side by side with their eye band colors specified in the rabbit's registration forms. Coat The dwarf hottet coat is short, shiny, and very dense. It has a rollback for which means that the strands will always stay upright even when stroked. Because the coat is dense and thick, it does not require much attention. And due to its size, you may not notice that it is molting. This happens in spring as animals shed their old fur to make way for new growth. More information about molting and grooming a dwarf hotted in a later section. Colors The dwarf hotted color combination accepted by the Arba is white with a black eye ring that looks like an eyeliner. The black band around the eyes must not be too thin or very thick. The eye band must have a feathered appearance and should be at least one eighth of an inch thick. Arba has recently accepted the white with chocolate brown eye band and soon, the white with a blue eye band color. These are requirements for show rabbits. A pet may not have the characteristics mentioned here. But nonetheless, the dwarf hotted is still a pure breed. Some dwarf hotted specimens may not have a white coat. Some Dutch marked or English spotted kits may also be seen in a litter. This is not unusual. However, these rabbits may not be used for show or in competitions but make great pets. Reproduction Almost all rabbit breeds follow a certain pattern when breeding and mating are concerned, and dwarf hottets are no exception. Breeders usually set the mood for the mating process. The male has his own cage, and the female is introduced. This is done to increase the success of breeding. As soon as the two are introduced, the male will start smelling the female as she stands motionless. If she has grown tired of his behavior, she will run around to escape. The buck will follow her and will try to mount her, usually performing thrusting movements. The female may give in by lying still, or she will continue with the chase. Usually, when the female lies down, the male will immediately try to mate. If mating is successful, the male will thump his hind feet. After just a few weeks, the female will be ready to deliver her kits. She will now look for a suitable nest that's warm and safe. In the case of rabbits that are bred in captivity, the breeder places a nesting box, which is a simple box made of wood or cardboard stuffed with hay. The female will improve this design by carefully arranging the strands of hay and possibly adding her fur to keep the nest warm. The male is removed from the nesting cage before the female makes the nest. You will notice that the female is ready to give birth when she appears to be uneasy and does not eat or drink. She will settle in the nest to give birth, usually the kits are born several minutes apart. She will give birth to three to five babies. The babies are born blind, naked, and deaf. These are vulnerable to predators, and sometimes, the female may eat any tissue or blood to avoid predators from smelling them. Any stillborn or dead kit may be eaten as well. The babies will be nursed but only for a short while. The mother won't return to her nest until nighttime when she nurses her babies. She may cover them with hay or any suitable material to keep them quiet, warm, and safe during the daytime. 
The babies will open their eyes after 5 to 7 days and will leave the nest on the 10th day or earlier. The babies will wean from their mother's milk and will be ready to eat other available food sources. The female rabbit will be ready to become pregnant again after she delivers. In some rabbits, the does will be ready to become pregnant right after she delivers. Juveniles will be ready to mate in just a few months. Personality and behavior. This breed is friendly and therefore well suited as a pet. This is, of course, possible if it gets a lot of human interaction and gets to live with other rabbits in a cage. Companionship is important in the life of rabbits, whether these live in the wild or human homes. The dwarf hottet will love to be out of their cage, playing, running, and even wrestling with their siblings. You can use this energy by training them to come to you and to perform some tricks. Use food or treats as a way to make them obey you. Sometimes, a rabbit may not follow through though but don't worry because it will soon learn to trust you and then warm up to you as well. Routines are important with this breed. You must follow a schedule such as early morning feedings, potty training after, and then let them loose in your yard or home. But before you do, make sure that the arrear has been rabbit-proofed. Just like any rabbit breed, the dwarf hottet will love to chew on wood, wire, and screens. You won't be able to train them to heal, therefore, it's up to you to remove these items before you let them loose. Some dwarf hottets, especially adults, simply prefer to sit and eat hay. They won't mind young rabbits playing about and won't be aggressive even when the bunch becomes rowdy. This rabbit is not aggressive towards other rabbits and won't be territorial. But some breeders say that any rabbit can develop a territorial attitude when it is kept in a very small cage together with other males. The males will try to compete for space and territory, and this may result in fights, blood, and sometimes death. Some experts say that a dwarf hotted doe may eat her babies. If you see this, remove the female and never allow this to breed again. But some say that this is a defense mechanism to remove all blood, smell, and tissue in the nest to protect her litter from predators. Mating behaviors are also noticeable, and sometimes, this can turn to aggression as the male wants to mate with a non-receptive female. Breeders usually separate the two once this happens and then try again after a few hours to days. It is comfortable inside a home and will also be friendly with your other pets. Spaying or neutering. Because of the promiscuity of rabbits, you must control their capacity to breed, especially if you want to keep more of these rabbits as pets. Spaying and neutering should be done at a young age. And while some vets do this, some also wait until the rabbits are six months old to be on the safe side. Dwarf hotted bucks are also neutered at a young age because it is said that neutering prevents aggression. Some bucks may be neutered as young as three months. It's best to consult a vet for the best practices for spaying and neutering and to ask about post-surgical care of your pet. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.